Hey everyone. Um, so that is me today, two weeks post-op. Um, I'm feeling great about it. I'm just still getting used to um, not having a binder on, like, and walking about with the top off and stuff like that. It's still a little bit weird, um, but it's like it's an amazing weird. It's like really good. Um, I can't even think what to say at the moment. Um, I'll show you what my chest looks like today. So, at the moment, that's what I've got. These here are the my uh, where my drains were. Still healing up. Not much to heal up, boy. Got this skin on there. Yep, that's that side. This side here. Um, yeah, so. And I'll just show you while I'm close. I'm not sure whether you can see it, but my uh, dressing is starting to lift up from the inside instead of it lifting up from the outside now. It's now lifting up from the inside on my left side. Um, but by this time next week, I'll have my dressings off, which is great. I can't wait for that. Um, because even though I obviously know that my chest is flat and I'm so happy with the results, um, I still don't like 100% know what my chest looks like, so yeah. Um, uh, let's see. I took my uh, when we went down to Blackpool. I um, took my top off, which was fun, um, and we've been having really good weather here. So I was sat outside top uh, Starbucks with like my shirt open, which was nice. Um, I'm really, really, I'm really, really glad that I got my top surgery just in time for the summer. So that's awesome. Uh, what else? Um, oh, movement. Um, when it comes to movement, I'll just take this off. When it comes to movement, my movement's getting better. Like, I can dress myself and I just wash myself in the shower by myself. The only areas that I can't get was like my back. Um, I can get this one up to there now, which is really good, like, I'm happy with that. Um, this side I can get up to about here, and then it starts hurting, so a little bit, a little bit of a difference there, like, uh, but the sort of, the sort of evening up now, which is good. Oh, here's my cat, who's decided to come in and see what's going on, haven't you? Um, but yeah, like, it's awesome, like, um, the only downside to it is I suppose I'm not used to sitting about doing nothing, and I really can't do that much, like, I can't lift anything, um, I can't, um, we just recently got a dog, I can't walk my dog, because if she pulls it hurts my chest, um, See you. Um, so, <laughs> come on, move. Thank you. But um, but yeah, so that's a little bit annoying not being able to do anything. But then, then again, like it's all worth it. So, I'm not really complaining. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, Try to think. Um, I have not worn a proper t-shirt, I've been wearing vests ever since I got my surgery. If I'm not wearing a vest then I'm wearing just a shirt with the buttons like buttoned down to about here. Um, I've been, I've got some v-neck t-shirts that I've never been able to wear without showing my binder. Uh, so I've been wearing them as well, that's quite cool. Um, I might pop some pictures at the end of this video to show you like that sort of stuff. Um, what else? Um, oh, as for like nipple sensation, uh, I have got quite a bit of feeling in uh, sorry, in my uh, in my right, my I can feel my right. My right is very sensitive. My left side, however, I cannot feel at all. Come on, Tris. My name's Tris. <laughs> We've got a big thing for divergent. Uh, but anyway, um, so I cannot feel my left nipple at all. But the good thing is, is that 
it reacts to like cold. Like it gets hard when someone touches it or when it's cold. My right side for a good few days after my surgery was like I could feel it, but it wasn't getting harder. I think when I was touching it, which was a bit creepy. Um, but it started to started to go now. Um, I've started getting like I've never had a spotty chest before, but if I come closer, like I'm starting to get all these spots. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that's about, but it doesn't bother me anyway. Like <laughs> could be worse. Um, try think what have I got planned? Um, well, next week the dressings are coming off. I'm going to hopefully see if I can get a video of the dressings coming off. Um, the same way as I did with my drains. Um, but it's all up to whether the subject wants to be um, wants to be filmed or not. Uh, but oh, um, I think. Uh, the pain, the pain isn't that bad. Not bad at all. Like, it's hardly anything. Uh, the only time that I get pain is um, <laughs> is when I like do something when I like, if I reach a certain way it will get sore, um, stuff like that. I have had a few accidents uh, chest wise. Um, I think altogether I have had three people hit me in the chest. Um, I've had my dog headbutt me in the chest twice. And this little one, the day of me coming home from surgery, jumped on my chest, which hurt a lot, and at that point I wasn't able to lift her. I can lift my cat now with two hands, I can't lift her with one. Not that good anyway, it does sort of twinge a little bit. But, um, i just sit her there. But yeah, um, so yeah, the pain's not been that bad apart from when I've had an accident. Um, a couple of nights ago, I did get, oh, here's the other cat. Um, I did get um, a spasm in going on in my chest on my right side. Um, I was asleep and it actually woke me up. Uh, and it was quite painful. I didn't get sleep till about 5 o'clock, so I took some painkillers for that. Um, uh, what else? Oh. <laughs> Cole. Come here. This is Cole. She's obviously wanting to be in the camera, so here's Cole. This is mom's cat. Next we'll have Chloe's cat coming in. But um but anyway, so yeah. I it wasn't that bad um once I took my painkillers. Um apart from that, the uh pain's been fine. The spasm has I haven't had a spasm since since that night, so I'm guessing that's a good thing. Or it might be a bad thing. I really don't know. Um but I'll ask I'll ask my surgeon about it next week. Uh go on the floor. Come on, out we go. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I can really tell you at the moment. Um, I'm so chuffed with the way it looks like. I'll uh, stand up today and like, see it. So yeah, like, I'm happy with that. I think that looks amazing. Like, I honestly cannot wait till I um, get my uh, dressings off, obviously. But I've been taking loads of pictures, like loads of topless pictures. I hardly put my t-shirt on in the house. Um, stuff like that and it's been amazing like I have noticed that I've been getting cold a lot though recently like being cold is a big thing and something that I'm not usually something that I'm something that I'm not used to because my binder always kept this part of me warm um, I find it's cold a lot but um, I'm starting to get used to it come on Tris <laughs> uh, um, but I'm starting to get used to it now, which is good. Uh, the bruising that was up here has more or less disappeared. It's just like where the dressings are that um, I have, still have a bit of iodine on it. Uh, I'm sure it's not a bruise because we've had a look at it and um, yeah, and it doesn't hurt. But yeah, so I think that's like all I can really talk about at the moment. Like, but next week is going to be a big week and I can't wait to see like how that goes and stuff like that and then in let me just work this out in four weeks and one day I will be going swimming so that's awesome well four weeks and two days 
I'll be going swimming because I'm going swimming on on my birthday because it's oh it's sort of like a mm, that's what happens when I try and lift a cat with one hand um but it's sort of like a birthday present to me so hopefully I'll be able to get that filmed I don't know what the place is um what the place is like what's the word like what's their view on uh, people videoing um, obviously there's sort of like health and safety and child protection and stuff so I'll have to see how that goes um, hopefully though I will be able to get filmed because it is like a really big thing in my life like going out topless for the first time will be a really big thing like at the moment even though I have went out without a top on and stuff like that it doesn't quite feel the same because I've still got the dressings on so like going out topless for the first time is going to be awesome but uh, yeah, so I think that's all I can really talk about, and I will update you probably next week. Well, yeah, yeah, I will update you next week, unless anything else happens. So, oh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, I will speak to you later, guys. Bye.